Good morning. Welcome to this morning's devotional. I pray that everyone had an awesome weekend this weekend. And we're going to jump right into our devotional. We are getting nuggets from R.C. Blake's Jr.'s book, um, Wisdom for Women in Ministry. And we've been talking about how to find your purpose, how to identify that, that thing that God has called you to do here on earth. So today we're going to start off with Divine Indicator 3. And these are these Divine Indicators is how he called um, things that will spark us realizing what our purpose is, okay? So it says, when you identify what burdens your heart, you locate the neighborhood of your calling. And he also writes, as I write this book, I hear the Holy Spirit saying, the very thing that keeps you restless at night should be what you wake up to address. We must not complain about those not doing it, who should be doing it more, or who should be doing it better. You do it. Your constant burden is a divine indicator of purpose. When you awaken to the realization that the heaviness of your heart is your calling, you will stop giving other people your responsibility. So as we discuss, your purpose, your calling here on earth is always, it's a burning, something that's burning on the inside. It feels like a burden. You go to sleep, you wake up thinking about this thing, that thing that always, you know, is in the back of your mind is, you always been around or always tick you off or irritate you. That is probably, most likely, the area where God is calling you to work in. So in indicator number three, Bishop R.C. Blakes is saying, now once you get that indication, stop thinking about who's not doing what it is, who's doing it, should be doing it better. You do it. Stop complaining. Because we do that sometimes, especially when we're not clear on our purpose. We got to stop complaining and do it. Just start. Wherever you are in life, just start. If you're supposed to, if God had put a passion in your heart to mentor young ladies and you don't know where to start, start where you are. Start at your church. Start at, with younger family members. Start in your neighborhood. Just start. And then you will start seeing the evidence of God. Then you will get the confidence to know that this is what God is calling me to do. Will it be easy? Nine times out of ten, no. Will you be afraid? Probably so. But you just start. Start where you are and watch God do the rest. So in today, ladies, continue to use your journals. Continue to... Have that quiet time with God to get directions on where to start. And I, I pray that everyone had an awesome day, an awesome week. And I just thank God for each one of you and continue to just push and continue to seek what God has for you. Have a blessed day.